this is Satima Fowler, CEO of Capstone Information Technologies. At Capstone, we help small and medium businesses with their computer support needs. We're also a Microsoft Office 365 specialist where we help organizations migrate to Office 365 easily and painlessly. So today I want to talk about um, the different types of email out there. I mean, let's face it, email is like the number one tool all of us use in business to communicate these days. So why is it that people use all these free email tools that are laden with, you know, v uh, viruses and malware and, and um, security threats? And, and if it's your number one business communication tool, then you really want to pick the one that is most appropriate and has the most features as well. So let's talk about the four common uh, email types there are. First is the pop email. This is um, uh, widely used by uh, and provided by internet service providers such as Time Warner, Comcast, and big companies like Yahoo and Hotmail. Um, it's relatively inexpensive um, and it has very, very basic functionality. And it's always hosted um, offsite. It's, it's generally hosted in an offsite in the cloud and um, it doesn't really have a lot of the syncing uh, tools across all your devices. It, 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 like I said, it, it's, it has pretty basic functionality. The se second thing I want to talk to you about is IMAP. Um, it's similar to POP, um, but it's widely used by providers like Gmail. Gmail is IMAP. Um, it has slightly more functionality than POP email. It does allow for syncing across your iPad, your tablet, your phone, your work computer. Um, it is also a cloud-based software. The email is always hosted in an off-site data center. Um, it doesn't have all the features uh, of the of that uh, all the business class features and collaboration tools of some of the other emails I'm going to talk about, um, but it does have more than pop. The third common email um, that people use is Exchange with Microsoft Exchange, which is hosted on a server in your office. Um, now, Microsoft Exchange was really built with collaboration in mind, and it allows for a business to have um, where they can share calendars, where they can talk to each other, um, and, and, and really a robust business class email with lots of security features built in. However, Exchange, the cons of Exchange hosted on your server is that it is a very complicated database and it, it, it takes a lot of work to maintain it. Um, it takes up server space um, and it also needs to be backed up. So all that is not easy to do and it takes a lot of effort. The fourth one is, I think, best of all worlds, which is Microsoft hosted email in the cloud like Office 365. Now, with Office 365 or any hosted Exchange email, what you're getting is the full-blown feature of Microsoft Office Exchange and Outlook, um, but without having to maintain it yourself. It's in the cloud, and all you do is just connect to it, and you have all the features. And then the best part is you can have access to it from anywhere. It all syncs properly across all your devices. And with, you know, starting at $5 a month for most businesses and for nonprofits, is actually free um, for char charities. Um, this is like the cheapest way to get email, a business, true business class email. If you want to learn more, um, you can go to www.capstoneitinc.com and uh, I'll be happy to answer more questions.